Oh my gosh, look at all the stuff. What is that? Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. What's up, Mabu High Squad? How are you doing? Did you sleep well? I hope so. So guys, um, got up a few minutes ago. It's 5.30 a.m. And um, I'm here in the ant room. Yes, yeah, see? I'm about to do my morning ritual and guys, I wanted to show it to you. Um, well, not show you my morning ritual because my morning ritual includes me getting into that steam room naked. But uh, I wanted to show you how beautiful the transition from like dark outside to like morning is. So this is what I see and it's what I hear as well. Like I hear roosters out there. Yeah, the world is asleep, but now I start. So usually I'll get into the steam room. Well, usually I'll go down for a coffee first, then I'll get into the steam room, but I'm gonna do things in a different order today because we're going to go pick up my parents and I wanna have my coffee last. Um, so I'm just gonna start with my stretches. Anyways, I'll see you when I'm done. All right, guys, how was it? Oh my gosh, the sun is blinding my eyes. How was it? Awesome sunrise, right? Um, oh my gosh, I feel so good after those stretches and after that steam room. My voice is, my vocal cords are perfectly hydrated. It's just awesome. And guys, the sunrise. I mean, wow. Thank you, life. Thank you, Lord, for another day. Beautiful day here at the Mabuhai Squad Farm. So guys, I like leave this door open to the roof deck while I'm steaming because in case like there's a little bit of, there's a little crack there, right? And some of the steam comes out. So it could blow out there. Uh, but a little bit of steam is okay. I, I open these windows so that it can also leave. But I mean, it's beneficial for the animals and for my ants. Uh, so it doesn't get too, too dry in this ant room. So yeah, like the walls are, uh, they don't get wet, they don't get damp. So I'm not too concerned about mold. And it's really breezy in this ant room anyway. So I'm, I'm not concerned, but honestly, the best. And you know what's funny? This piece of furniture here kind of looks good where it is. Imagine like lying down here and watching the sun rise. We're probably gonna move this somewhere else. Not too sure where. Probably here or down there somewhere. There's RJ. Hi, Rizal. Guys, Rizal is getting chubby ever since we like neutered him. Um, he's been putting on the weight. Look, he's not like so svelte as he used to be. There's the kitchen. Gosh, love the sunrise. And now we're going to pick up the parents. Bye birdies, we shall return. Guys, we have such a full day today. We have so many things to do besides pick up my parents. We also have to do some shopping. Gonna visit Cardamar, the pet market, all of this stuff. Big adventure ahead. Hi squad, all of you who've been following us for years. <laughs> Look where we are guys. Oh my God. It's our old condo where RJ and I lived for how long? 2013 until 2020? One. One. OMG, seven years we lived here guys. It feels like eight years though. I feel like it was eight, around eight. Um, and guys, look at the view. Ah, uh, I have missed this view. Every morning I used to say, good morning. <laughs> and I would show this view. Now, this here is the area known as Mandaluyong, um, in the middle of Metro Manila. And ah, uh, I have missed this so much. Can you imagine during the pandemic, RJ and I had to like stay in here we literally never left. For eight months, we stayed here. 
Oh, good memories. Been going upstairs. We're just here, guys, to like get stuff to bring back to the farm. Like, see lights and equipment for my tanks and stuff. Oh, it's so good to be back. Remember the romantic meals RJ prepped here <laughs> for us to eat? So nice. My old fish tank. Oh yeah, guys, also forgot to say that this place is for sale. We're gonna sell it because we already have another place um, where my parents are staying at um, in another part of town. And we're just ready to let this place go uh, so it could be a loving home um, to create memories just like it created memories for RJ and I all these years. You know, Mabu High Squad, as I was walking through the hallways and the bedroom, oh, what a rush of nostalgia. So much love in this place. Um, but yeah, sorry, it, this place uh, is for sale. Um, we're currently selling it for 160,000 USD. Non-negotiable, no higher, no lower. Um, and this is a very fair price, a good price. It's fully furnished. Um, bathrooms fully furnished, fully furnished kitchen. It's a two bedroom, uh, two story. So if you're interested, be sure to email the email here. Maybe this might be your future home. That would be awesome. And personally, I would rather sell it to one of you Mobu High Squad because um, I don't know, like it gives me a peace of mind that this would be going to someone who already knows about this place right and somehow i know you guys would take care of it oh yeah also forgot clean title i own it it's under my name um and uh so you don't have to worry about anything like that if you have any problems you can always contact me it's not like i could disappear um so yeah it's very straightforward guys this here was me and rj's old bedroom I just, it's so strange being back. It's like it was just yesterday, see? And you know what? RJ and I were totally happy here. We were okay living in this space. Like, it was just, it just so happened we wanted to move to another place in the province mostly because of our African great parrot. Um, but had it not been for Ligaya, we probably would still be living here. Or maybe not, I don't know, because I was, wanting to uh, move into a place that could, where we could better host my family when they came to visit the Philippines. Now, for as long as I remember, this picture of this Lexus was in this picture frame. And we framed this picture, which was cut out of a magazine, into this frame. And the reason I did that was because, for some reason, I felt like a Lexus was just a symbol of, you know, like, money. And, like, in my mind, a Lexus was the ultimate car that, at the time, I definitely couldn't afford. But I felt like if I kept looking at this picture of a Lexus, I would feel feelings of being rich and, like, wealth. And, um, yeah, never did get that Lexus yet. But, um, I do feel like putting this photo in the picture frame, regardless of what the subject was, I think the fact that I associated this car with wealth helped me attract, you know, abundance financially. So <laughs> just for the longest time, it's been pictured there. And you know, every time I'd look around, I would see it even subconsciously. So that's the story behind this random magazine photo of Alexis. And what's funny guys is I remember moving in here uh, in 2013, feeling like I was on top of the world, like the richest man in the world. I felt like I was so wealthy moving into this place, even though it's not much, but you know, like someone who didn't come from wealth, suddenly having his own condo and I was paying mortgage at the time, like that to me was already mind blowing. Like that was beyond anything I ever expected just a few years before that. So yeah, I felt like so like wealthy moving in here. It was like honestly the best, the best feeling. I was so grateful. And I've done vlogs on this before. I, at the time that, you know, we put the down payment for this place, um, I was like, I don't know how I'm going to finish paying this off. Just gonna wing it, let the universe figure it out, and finally did pay it off in full. So uh, yeah, I, it's just good feelings. I, for the longest time, RJ and I didn't want to sell this place just because we loved it so much. 
Um, and again, like it's in an amazing area of Metro Manila. New restaurants everywhere. So close to Mega Mall and Shangri-La. So close to the main highway, etc. So like, we're like, hell no, we're not selling this place. Um, but then after talking about it for a while, we're like, maybe it's time to let this become someone's home. Bad, do you miss the place? Yeah. And every time we visit. Every time we visit, we miss it. Oh. It brings back the memories. So many memories. Guys, look. RJ looks like a Henry Cavill wearing that suit. Let me see. He looks like a Filipino Henry Cavill. They look so, so good. Go straight to Sahara. Hey Sarah, did you miss us? Did you miss yeah. us? Oh, yeah. We miss you. Oh, look at your clothes. Yeah. Wow. Multicolored yeah. harness and everything. Yeah, that is right. Did you miss us? Did you miss us? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Who's that? Who's that? And she's heavy. I... <laughs> is she taba? Yeah. You That's fat? Close. I bought so many treats and then he doesn't he Taste one and then she doesn't, doesn't like treats. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi, daddy. Hi, guys. She doesn't want to eat the punch. <laughs> She's probably depressed because she misses us. No, she enjoyed a lot. So. Yeah. So oh, far. she wants to go out all the time. Every day we go to the mall. Hi. Yeah. And then he's fighting all the kids. Is that My God. He's oh, kiss. Kiss. Mm. Uh, We missed you. Guys, she even followed RJ into the bathroom. She's like, there's no way you're going to leave me this time. Yes, Harry, don't worry. <laughs> We're going back to the farm. But so cool, at least. That, like, there's all of this area for her to run around and stuff. You've been going to the mall every day? Yes, Sahara, yeah. Come, come, up, up. We missed you. Don't worry, we're not leaving you this time. RJ, she's like, don't leave me this time. I know, my God, she, she doesn't, doesn't want... want to sleep in the bedroom because it's too small. Yeah, well, you took her away from her palace. <laughs> right, Sahari? Oh, that's good. Oh, she's <laughs> angry with me, huh? She misses home, yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, no. She's yeah, like, I'm coming home with you guys. You happy? Yes, we're happy to see you. Look at your hair, nice haircut. I heard you were barking at all the kids. And dogs. Oh, guys, so happy Sahara's coming home today. We have one more female dog who is away at boarding school right now. We recently saw a picture, and guys, her skin is dark. So, in case you don't know, we have another dog named Brittany. She's a Mexican hairless, and so she's just skin. And uh, she got sent off to boarding school because of this really unfortunate event that happened. Anyway, she's hairless, so when she's out in the sun, her skin gets dark like real humans. Um, she tans, and based on the picture, it looks like she's been out a lot because she's darker. But I can't wait for Brittany to come home as well. Just a few more weeks. Look at the diapers. You've been wearing diapers? Why? You're perfectly potty trained. Uh-oh. <laughs> she's going crazy. She's trying to get your attention. She is so happy. Guys, my parents have a ton of stuff. Don't worry, we're going home. We're going back to the farm, the farm, the farm. We're going to the farm, farm, going to the farm, farm. It's Lacoste my mom bought you? Wow, so shall. Is that a new bag? I? Guys, my mom bought a new bag for her. Oh, to like be carried in? Oh my. And there's a ton of toys in there too. You are so spoiled. Yeah, I spent all my money with Sahara, right uh, uh, Sahara? I... How was Manila, Daddy? Oh, no, not everything. too bad, it's good. It's more expensive here, right? I know, right? <laughs> she doesn't eat? She likes um, the crispy Jollibee. Jolli Jolli you gave her Jollibee? You're not allowed. No, just a little bit. She doesn't eat. Just so he she's, can buy. It's because she's sad. Uh, I know. She Aww. misses uh, fairy friends. She misses us. Where are you going now, huh? Where are you going now?
Guys, we're having dinner here, eating Filipino food at a place called Chicks Ni Otit. Guys, you must get the Sinica. Oh, look at that. CC. Everything is so good. Guys, Filipino sour soup. Let's try it. Look at it, guys. Mm, it is so, so delicious. See? It is so delicious. Fresh ingredients here. So yummy. In, where are we? General Trias Cavite. General Trias Cavite, yes. RJ's been picking at this chicken in a sal. So good. It's so good, guys. Guys, this sinigang is five mabuhay stars. My dad really likes this. Daddy, what is this? What? This is milkfish and it's bones. like boneless. And then and they then stuff they it. Yeah. Oh, yum. Yeah. Laing. This is taro leaves cooked in coconut. Um, this is chopped up pig's face. So delicious. Called sisig. This here is pancit. Filipino noodles. Look ban pancit. Yeah. Whoa, my mom totally finished the lying. They actually have the best lying here. They do? Yeah. You ain't lying. <laughs> OMG, I'm getting my dad's joke of the day jeans. Daddy, do you have a joke of the day? Oh, yeah. What's Jennifer Lopez's favorite snack? What's Jennifer Lopez's favorite snack? What? Jello. <laughs> Jello. <laughs> Guys, I'm mind blown. My dad is telling me about this. Apparently, my grandma used to make it. It's Daddy, big. how's it made? It's, it's a big. It's baked. And guys, apparently, this stuffing is made of fish, bangos, potato, carrots, carrots and peas. And, peas. and peas. then it's all chopped and. Chopped. Like the meat and bones are removed from the fish, they but they save the, the skin. They save the skin. And then they stuff it with the stuffing, and then they bake it. Wow, that's hard to make. <laughs> yeah, and you special don't see this in every restaurant. Yeah, and my dad says you don't really see it I'm a surprised. lot. It's been 40 years since I had this. 40 years? 40 years. Since you've had this? Yes. Wow. Yeah. It's hard to make. It's hard to make. Yeah, clearly. I mean, even special occasions, they don't do that anymore. It's too hard. They Guys, look at Rizal and Cypher. <laughs> Rizal and Cypher. Yes, you're home now. Oh my gosh, look at. Oh, they're so happy. Go, go. You're home. You're home. <laughs> <laughs> They've missed each other. Be happy to be home, Sahari. Hmm? Let's remove those diapers. Oh, the dogs are happy she's back. Uh, he missed you for sure. OMG, look at those Balik Bayan boxes. My mom sent it from Toronto. It finally arrived. Mommy, when did you mail that? Last year? She mailed it in November last year, guys. And it finally arrived. I wonder what's in there. We'll open it tomorrow. Do you like the new Whoa, cupboard? Wow. It's okay? Yeah. Why is this so high? I know, yeah, you need a ladder to put the stuff up there. What? What is oh, that? Cypher. For cypher? <laughs> yeah. Oh my. But it is for you. I don't even know your size. <laughs> He's actually it. growing. Yeah. Doesn't, don't you think he yeah, looks fat? He's grown fat. Guys, he's, he's gained weight. Is that, is that? Since we cut up? him. OMG, guys. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay, look at, look at. Yes. Mm. <laughs> oh, boy, guys. Oh. See? Oh, nice. <laughs> Go show daddy. Oh, wow. It's a jersey. <laughs> Rizal is happy that he finally has his playmate back. <laughs> I, I, let's go, let's go, let's go. Sit, Rizal, sit. This, this big, this bed's not big enough for all, all of you guys. 
Sleep now. Look who's happy to be home. Yes, you missed it here? <laughs> How was grandma? How was Lola? Huh? A week vacation with Lola? Or has it been a week or 10 days? 10 days with Lola, OMG. How did you do it? Mm. Welcome home, Sahari. Guys, apparently Joseph's room looks awesome. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Holy. Oh my gosh, these LEDs. Wow. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, sweet. Man. Awesome. So cool. I want to sleep here. <laughs> Oh, that is so sweet. So these will be covered again with glass, is it? Glass. Everything is like glass cupboards. Oh, this is a beautiful, beautiful guest room. Seriously. Guys, Cypher kept begging us to be let down, to be brought downstairs. And we're like, what? Why does he want to go downstairs? He wanted to see Sahara. So I stole her back from my mom. Come, Sypes. I got her. Yeah. I cut her. He's like, I missed her. They're gonna play now. I know this. They always do this. See? Cypher wants up to play with her now. You wanna go up? Go. <laughs> he misses her. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> this is Cypher being nice. <laughs> Sahara doesn't wanna play. She's sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> I think she wants to go back to, down to my mom. Can I go downstairs? Sahara, remember, you belong to us. <laughs> Not her. You were just on loan. <laughs> Good morning. How was it, Rizal? He woke up early, right? No, she slept until 7 30. I, I, oh. I get up. I get up oh. 7 o'clock. She got up 7 o'clock. Oh my, look at my dad's breakfast. <gasps> Cornflakes. Oh my gosh, this is so, reminds me of my childhood. Granola. Oh, what? Oh, you bought a lot. In Manila. Good for two weeks. Two weeks? And then, so you just it's mix the grain. two? Yeah, it's a whole grain. Mix oh. them all together. So healthy, daddy. And then, this is my dad's supplements and medicine, I guess. Can I give this? No, it's what got is... sugar. Oh. Mommy, mommy, especially him. Oh. Mommy. It's a grain. It's a grain. But it, there's sugar on there. Oh my god, how, how much sugar uh -huh. you can you get? And plus, Rizal is getting chubby. Oh he doesn't, he doesn't look like Rizal anymore. We didn't feed him anything. He's just putting on the weight because we neutered him. So guys, I realized my cousins are arriving in a little over two weeks. OMG, are you ready, mommy? Yeah. You're, it's, all, it's my mom's side of the family. They're all gonna be here, You're including the kids. Them. Getting ready. Yeah, we're trying to get ready. Finishing the pool. Guys, you should see the pool. The tiles arrived. What? Uh, this is the proper uh, place for this too. Oh, my mom prefers the furniture here. I know. Instead well, that's... The instead... Well, we'll get more outdoor furniture and we can always just rearrange. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at Rizal, Rizal's not allowed to have avocado, guys. You guys know that, obviously. My parents know what dogs can't eat because we've always lived with dogs. We're gonna plant it. I actually, I did grow avocado, uh, three of them in the yard, and I think we only have one that survived. We just don't know where it is. It's just somewhere there. Rizal, these? You want cereal? No. Right guys, he is gaining weight, right? He's kind of looking like a puppy again. And I love this curly hair, it's starting to come back. Is that miss me? I he think so, me. yes. Yes, he did. And do you notice he's calmer now? Yeah, not last night, when he was hyper, he was jumping on me. Oh, yeah, well, you're like his, the love of his life, I think. But just generally through the day, we find after neutering him, his energy went slightly down. Oh, fresh warm milk. You know, it's strange. I'm not sure why, but it's a, like Filipino milk can last long in here. 
I don't know why. Whereas, you know, when we order milk in Toronto, it's like you, you gotta consume it within the... That's oh. a fiber, guys. This is the one you need. That's fiber. fiber. Wow, healthy. Nuts. My dad's adding overnight oats. Go dates. I added dates, dates. for for sweetness. Oh, there's almonds in there. Is that goyabano? Yes. Oh my gosh, guys! <gasps> goyabano. I wish Benji was here when we were doing the fruit taste test. More, more of this, guys. guys. It's only two dollars. Mm. It's an anti. Uh, yeah, antioxidants. Goyabano. What's the English for that? Goyabano. Goyabano? Yeah, so good. Guys, I'm just out here looking at the progress and man, it is looking awesome. Um, RJ and I have been debating what to put in these plant boxes. You see those, these three sort of like sectioned off areas? They'll be filled with soil and they're for plants. Originally, I wanted Kalachuchi, which is right here, which is what Ate June, also our landscaper, also felt would be appropriate it's also known as um plumeria that hawaiian plant with a beautiful flower that i love but rj brought up a good point it would be better to have something that doesn't really block the view of the kids from say the kitchen or the living room if ever kids are in the kiddie pool so i think we're gonna go with low-lying plants or, or possibly flowers what do you guys think Low-lying plants and flowers would be nice too, right? And plus it doesn't block the really nice view of the pool coming in from the gate. You know what I mean? Like it's, the pool is really impactful. Even now, uh, as an unfinished pool, it just looks really, really beautiful. But with water and with all the tiles and this uh, swim up bar here, I think it would be great if we could just see the pool unobstructed. So low-lying bushes or flowers, I think, would be more appropriate, right? What do you guys think? RJ's like, why don't you do bromeliads? I'm like, wow, RJ, bromeliads. But we can't do bromeliads because bromeliads have, like, these small spikes. And I don't want, like, people's shins being cut or kids, like, being cut. Because they fall into, like, the bromeliad patch, you know what I mean? So, hmm. Decisions, decisions. Mm, oh my gosh, it smells, it's curry chicken. Okay, that's a first. My mom has never made curry chicken before. Mmm. Back to home cooking, guys. Homemade meals. Yes. <laughs> oh boy. Iguanas are sunbathing, and guys, look, more eating. Um, so these lizards, guys, eat a lot. And they do at this age because they are growing super fast. Look at that. Mmm. So good. Oh my gosh. What is that? Guys, my mom says keep this one for when you do a parody. For my costume? Yeah. Where did you get that? This is RJ, for, par for parodies, she says. Did you bring that from Toronto? No, I have just been here. Oh, it's part of our costumes. Oh my gosh. My mom's first time making this. I mean, it smells and looks legit like Thai curry chicken. And with squash and everything. Okay, let's try this, guys. Mmm. 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 Oh my gosh, it's so good. Guys, honestly, cooking is such a skill. Like, when you have an understanding of, like, how flavors and stuff work together, you could do things like what my mom just did, like invented a dish. Well, she didn't invent the dish, but try a dish for the first time and it tastes good. Mm. Oh my gosh, it is so good. And the squash goes so well with it. Mm. And with the black rice. Oh my gosh, yum. Mm. And mommy, what is this? Bok choy? Bok choy. Bok choy. So healthy. Mm, mm, mm. This curry chicken. It's five Mabuhay stars. Oh my. Guys, they're loving the breeze. Good fresh air, huh? So guys, the landscapers were working hard today. So look, they've refined this whole area. 
with stones and they've planted more flowers. <laughs> Write my name in the sand. Sorry, that's in my head right now, guys. Um, see, doesn't that look awesome? I love, guys, rocks just somehow add a beautiful natural touch to like a space. It looks really, really good. So this has been planted and guys, we've got roses, small ones. Apparently in the Philippines, we can grow roses, but only small ones. Gorgeous. I love all of these plants. Just they're, all the flowers are so nice. And then this entire wall has finished. It's been finished like with the cladding, see? It's really nice. And then guys, look, look at what I gotta show you. Look at how awesome this wall looks. <gasps> oh my gosh, those tiles. Oh, it looks so luxurious and beautiful. So these tiles um, were imported from Italy and this is the tile we're using for the entire pool, like literally everywhere, all of this will be this gorgeous, like here. It's like this gorgeous sort of, I don't know, it's got this really cool design. Beautiful yeah. tile. Yeah, so good the tiles. I got it from Dexterton. We bought it from Dexterton. That's what the place is called. And oh, it's so nice. Like literally I looked at that and I was like, man, that looks so good. It just looks so good together, the collection of tiles. Each tile is different too, so it's not like a repeating pattern. Non-skid tiles. Oh, for here, the deck. Yeah, we've got also another non-skid. Okay, so yeah, we've got different kinds of tiles. How are they going to do the round part? That's what I want to know. Guys, that's not all. I want to show you this too, guys. Look. So at the front of the house, they finally started landscaping. See? They've piled some fertile soils along this side. Wow. Again, more stones. They are looking awesome. Love those hedges. See, more hedges. I love the configuration of different shapes, textures, um, shapes of leaves, colors, um, sizes, right? Of plants that they choose for this front. It's really, really awesome. And then there's a break here. I like that. Break for the hose, I guess. And then more. More beautiful plants. Archie's like, it's not done yet. I know, but it's so nice. I like it. And then eventually they will grass this over as well with frog grass. Oh, so cool. That's looking amazing. Just for perspective, step back and see the house. Yay! It's so, so nice. I mean, slowly but surely, Mabuhai squad. This uh, full house tour vlog is definitely coming. OMG guys, so RJ and I are just walking through the yard, visualizing what it's gonna look like. And OMG, look, they filled the pond area already. Oh, it's like dark water. Guys, it looks like there's gonna be a crocodile in this murky water. Yeah, they're flood testing guys, so they're just filling it up. Oh, interesting. Wow, what a water collection site. So I really need to start like working on the nitrification process. We do have to add fish. We got to add plants and just allow the system to like mature and like achieve a biological balance. That will take months and months. But ooh, this is awesome. Can't wait. There'll be a waterfall uh, at some parts as well. So the water just keeps moving. Oh, this is gonna attract so much wildlife. I cannot wait. Something smells really, really good. Oh, mm. shrimps. Mmm. And put wine? Yeah. And olives and yeah. garlic. So I, I did oh. wine, but I oh. There's wine. My mom's drinking a goblet of wine. What is this? Are these oh, banana? These banana, banana flowers. Yeah. yeah. Banana yeah. hearts. Oh, my parents opened the goyabano. Guys, let's eat goyabano. Goyabano, guys. Mmm. Yeah, no. Sour sop. That's what they call it in English. Guys, this tastes like a Jolly Rancher. Yes, it's tart, but oh, 
like a sour candy, sour candy. Mmm. Guyabano is one of the tastiest fruits ever. So underrated. Tons of antioxidants, tons of fiber. We should try to grow guyabano. Yeah. In our yard. Guys, let's try the shrimp. Mmm. I think Rizal here's a dog out there. Mmm. Mmm. Five Mabuhai stars. Guys, my mom is like, I put my lipstick on already for the vlog. <laughs> what is this? For your library. Oh, Mikey T. Bustos. Poetry? Editor's Choice? What is this? Library of Poetry? That's yours! It is? Collected yeah. Whispers. Put it in your library. Okay. From when I was young? Oh, it's a bunch of poems. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at all the stuff. Whoa! King-sized pillows. King-sized pillows? Yeah. Whoa! Holy, there's a lot of beddings. Wow, sweet. <laughs> it's made of bamboo? It's memory pillows. Okay. Mmm, it smells yeah. good. Holy, there's a lot. Are these all from yeah. Canada? Yeah. I mean, it's perfect for the every the visitors that are coming. Okay, so most of this is bedding. Ooh, espresso. Oh, and it's Italian. Yeah. All right. It is nice. Yeah, that's cool. Shoes. Shoes. Polo shoes? Tablecloth. Oh, tablecloth. When you have a formal dining. Oh, that's nice. My dad brought shoes for the husband of Ate Elsie. Wow, designer. Clogs. Oh, sweet. Clogs. There's Christmas tablecloths. Huh? Oh, those look like scrubs. Oh, swimming. Oh, cool. Oh, one's for Edmark. Yay! Are these hydro flasks? Yeah. That's awesome. What? What's inside? Fabric. Fabric spray? Oh, she was efficient with space. And polysporin. Yay! Oh, buttermilk. Okay, this is the most random configuration of gifts. Oh, Timmy's merch! Awesome! What is that? Candies. Oh, candy. All right. Oh, Man. vitamins. Oh, Man. From this Kirkland. Oh, this is totally from Costco. This is vegetarian friendly. Oh, vegetarian. All right, they fit. Yeah. Yay. What is that? No, it's it's one of those cloaks. It's a blanket. It's a blanket where you wear. It's a blanket. You can take this out if you want. Oh, cool. Okay, so you wear it. It's like a cape slash blanket. Oh, in the van. That's a good idea. Oh, I like that one! I like the plaid! Oh, it's so cute, Archie! We need to take twinsy photos with those! That's awesome! Oh my gosh, you see the joy of like, like buy-in boxes? White beddings! Are, is this all king size? Wow! Christmas beddings, king size! Oh, look at the design of that! Oh, I like this one. Wow. More Christmas stuff. My mom's like, I don't know what's this. What is it? Who put that in there then? This is a medium size. Oh, for running windbreaker pants. Okay. Holy. Okay, we're decked out for next Christmas, it seems. What is that? A napkin holder. Oh, nice. Napkin holder? Yeah. Oh. You put the napkin inside. Cheese board. Let me see. Oh, vino. <laughs> the last time we had a like, buy-in box like this was when Richard Alford, Mabuhai Squad Richard Alford sent us stuff. This is always like Christmas day. Man, the bed sets just come flowing. Look, even more. Holy, different designs. Whoa, shorts for days. This is the one. Maybe it will fit you, Mike. Oh, I like these pants. Wow, they're nice pants. They're totally my style, especially this green one. Ooh, I like the cargo shorts. RJ, this is totally your style. Guys, I love this invention. A wearable blankie. Okay, name holder for like... Name holders, okay. Oh, wow, grateful. Uh, I'm grateful for these grateful plates. 
This will be for outside. I love the, the Canada yes. theme. It's so it's autumn. It's autumn. It's autumn. Canada. Yeah, that's what I mean. I know, I love, the, I love like this a, blanket. You're like uh, the England. I'm like, I'm the... What? Oh, I'm like, I look like a king wearing a cloak. It's a whole set of yeah. this grateful. Yeah. 50 pieces? Whoa. If ever we have a Canada day. Canada day. Hey, Rizal, or, let go. Canada day nice. or He's biting the pom-poms oh, off my thing. Oh, I love this. It's so Canadian. Yeah, for sure. If we have Canadian Thanksgiving, we're busting this out. Guys, look at this. Don't drink water, drink beer. It goes, it like hangs on the wall and you can use it as a beer bottle opener. <gasps> this is perfect, my mom says, for the pool bar. And I totally agree. Yes. Even Canadian baking mitts. <laughs> I love this. So good. Okay, mommy, I know for the past several months you've been telling me about beddings that you've sent. I had no idea it was this much. Wow. Oh, I rather like this one. Zara Home? I think this would look nice in the yellow room. Guys, it seems like my parody was prophetic. Because look, look at what my mom brought. Ate Elsie, show what my mom brought you. Look at what my mom got for Ate Elsie. A winter coat. <laughs> Do you know our Balik Bayan box parody? A winter coat in case it snows. It's so hot. A, a winter coat in case it snows. <laughs> Mommy, where is she going to wear this? I mean, Baguio. She could wear it in Baguio. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Guys, like my mom. Oh, yeah. Oh. My Balik Bayan Box parody became real. <laughs> oh, thanks. Containers. Ate Elsie also got this nice sweater. It's so cute. I can totally see Ate Elsie wearing this. <laughs> I'm laughing because <laughs> Colgate Colgate and new briefs Imported corn beef Some Colgate and new briefs Imported corn beef Mommy, we have this in the Philippines <laughs> yeah, but that's different this is No, but in fairness um, Here's something cool Toothpaste here in the Philippines It's more frothy Like, for some reason um, people here in the Philippines associate the froth that's produced when you're brushing your teeth with cleanliness. Whereas abroad, it's more of like a paste. Like when you brush your teeth, it still stays pasty. So, I don't know, it's like the same thing. It cleans your teeth. It's just two different ways, I guess. For the streamies. This is basically like the um, Oscars for YouTubers. And the streamies sent us, I guess, this certificate because we were um, nominated for Best Documentary 2020 and Creator Product. The first Yay, one, that's though. awesome. We were also nominated the year before for Best Education Channel, but I guess they weren't giving like certificates like this. No, I, yeah, education category. This wow. should be in your room. I kept the jacket. The jacket? Yeah. The streamy sent me a jacket? Yeah. And you kept it? Yeah. OMG, so I finally figured out what this International Library of Poetry is all about. Apparently I was recognized um, for a poem I wrote. And it was placed in this book. And I'm like, so where in this book is it? And guys, literally, it's the very first page. <laughs> See? It's like a whole book of like selected poems. And like the, the writer's profile from around the world. And mine is here. I'm a very positive and happy person all around. <laughs> However, in the face of life's infrequent negative feelings, poems like this are born and remain for me a positive outlet to get all that yuckiness out of my essence. I hope you enjoy the piece. What? I totally don't remember writing this. I'm doing so good without you. It's been five months since I left you. I'm doing so good without you. I'm making long strides without you, just like I had told you. See my face on the newspapers, babe? Time for me to show you. I know it's killing you looking at me, looking at you like I used to. This sounds like a, 
An M&M wrap? What am I doing here? See me smiling in the photos of fans I took without you. Call my smiles feigned or forced, but I am happier without you. See my music video being filmed of the song I wrote about you. I've joined the gym and gotten bigger. You regret your departure, don't you? Oh, this must have been when I broke up with my ex-girlfriend when I was like 24 or 25. See me thinking of your new love who now shares the bed beside you to take my place, but I don't care. Watch me replace you too. I've got my career and all, requi all I require, so why should I want or need you? Even if I may be missing someone badly, I won't ever let you know who, because in my heart I know the truth, and babe, I'll always do so well without you. I declare right now, I do not and never loved you. OMG, so emo. Totally know who this is referring to. Um, <laughs> uh, but her and I are friends now, like long time ago. Wow, oh my gosh. I can't believe that poem. <laughs> Good. Morning, Mabuhai Squad. How are you doing? Did you sleep well? Guys, it's 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Just woke up. My mom is up, surprisingly. Well, she's always up this early. And we're just uh, keeping an eye on the dogs. Sahara and Rizal are here doing their morning business. I'm surprised Sahara's up at this time. Wow, Sahara, you've become an early riser. Wow, so this Timmy's cup is awesome it's actually it's not a print it's an engravement see it's like engraved in there my mom says it's a limited edition thank you um for those of you who don't know tim hortons is like a really big coffee sort of breakfast uh place in canada it's canada wide um and gosh like really good memories going to tim hortons before morning shift um my most memorable Tim Hortons runs were when I was working as a cargador. Um, what's English for cargador? You know that, that guy who ships in all the fresh vegetables and fruits um, into the kitchen of like a restaurant? That was me. I was up at 4 a.m. Actually, no, our shift began 4 a.m. So I had to be up at 3. And um, we used to run to Tim Hortons. And during the winter, it was freezing, so you'd get a hot cup of Timmy's and a bagel with cream cheese. Oh, such good memories. And then we begin the shift. Start loading the truck. So cold. Correct. My mom says delivery man. Yeah, that, uh, that was me. But that was the best job ever. We were paid $18 an hour. OMG. I mean, it's all manual labor, but I mean, generally, it was a brainless. I could, like, sing while working and... <laughs> I loved all the people I worked with. We had a lot of fun. And a lot of it was also just sitting in the truck because I couldn't drive the truck. I had to sit with the driver. Just sit there and like sleep. Going from location to location, picking up food at the warehouse. Like honestly the best job ever. OMG guys, listen to that bird. Do you hear it? Mwew. You hear it? Wait. Ah, it's far now. It was the most beautiful sound. <laughs> Guys, my parents yeah, yeah. are um, yeah, no, no. messenger video chatting with my aunts and uncles and on my dad's side in is, Canada. Is under the Alateris oh, Aratilis, <laughs> that's the best fruit tree. Mm. Oh, I like that. Aratilis is my favorite. Yeah, I grew up with that. Oh, it's so yummy, the best fruit. All right, guys, so it looks like they've finished tiling this wall. And it really looks awesome. See that, guys? I'm gonna really love doing laps in this pool. Seriously. It is so, so spacious. This is a big space, guys, to swim. Um, and then they're also doing this wall here. I'll show you guys. Awesome. Yay. I really love this pool. I think it's going to be conducive to a lot of memories with loved ones here. It's just a cool chill out spot to hang out and soak up some beneficial sunlight and exercise of course. My mom says she's looking forward to swimming here and doing aqua fitness. <gasps> this spot here, actually where stairs go down, is a very powerful spot I feel. Um, not too sure if it's coming across on camera but it's got an incredible view like 
if you just stand here, the view is spectacular. Like throughout the entire property, like even looking back, this is what I see. See? Just, just gorgeous view. I think this spot right here is one of my favorite spots in the entire property. You just have such a good perspective of everything. If this property were Pride Rock, this here would be Pride Rock, right here. This is where I would be presenting Simba to all the animals in Africa. So guys, with all of these flowers now here, I say it will be time soon to get our stingless bee box. What do you think? I think so. And I'm gonna harvest the honey myself. Mmm. Can't wait to taste our homegrown honey. Uh, all right, guys. So it's back to family life here at the Mabuhay Squad Farmhouse and more construction and more pets. And speaking of pets, here comes Rizal, who's going to go look for my parents who went to the mall. <laughs> Um, but guys, if you made it to the end, thank you so, so much for watching. As always, I really feel like every time these vlogs come up, it's just a group of friends, a big club, just getting together and like hanging out. I always feel like every time these vlogs go up, guys, it's like a big, one big club and a big group of friends meeting together. Um, and I just love reading your comments. And it means so much to us that you guys are joining RJ and I on this crazy journey of life, um, building our house with our pets, with family, all of that. Life here in the Philippines. Guys, if you enjoyed this vlog, it would really mean a lot to us if you could hit the like button as it really helps us a lot. It lets YouTube know that these vlogs are worth sharing to new audiences. And guys, I know you guys have been doing that. And as always, if you haven't yet, Make an account and subscribe to our channel. Hit the subscribe button. Come join our Mabuhay squad. We will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. I will see you guys in the next vlog. Love you so much. Bye. Mm -hmm.